secret gold purchases. Gold and silver investors, we are in an absolutely stunning environment right now. In this video, we're going to talk about the absolute crazy resilience that we're seeing in the precious metal markets. New buyers, new waves of buyers coming in and a number of other key critical reasons why we have so much to look forward to as silver, gold, and precious metal mining stock investors. First, I want to say thank you for joining me here today. It's a big deal that you're here. I see you. You're down here with me in the basement. Welcome to the club. We love to talk about gold and silver. If you want a new piece of content every single day, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. You can share it with anyone you like. And super thanks and super chats are always super appreciated. But what is this big news, the stunning developments that we're seeing within the silver and gold market, which give us reason for great hope? Hey, everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Basement, live on the log flume. Say hi, girls. Hi. Gold and silver defies the odds yet again. This comes from our friend Niels over at Kitco, and the precious metals continue to defy the odds as shallow corrections are consistently bought. Are you seeing that? Are you feeling it? Every time, you know, gold goes down by 60 or $70, it gets bought right back up. Same thing for silver, as we are engaged in an epic battle right now for silver to break through for good through the ceiling, which seems to have been in place for six or seven months above that $32 per ounce ceiling. Analysts note that gold investors have every reason to take profits as expectations around the Federal Reserve's monetary policy continue to swing wildly. People should have been selling gold, selling silver, but they're not. Okay, a stellar jobs report last week dramatically forced markets to remove the expectation of a 50 basis point rate cut for next week. But monetary policy doves took another hit this week after consumer inflation rose more than expected, with the core CPI increasing to 3.2 percent. The gold market is proving that it's much bigger. The silver market is proving that it's much bigger than any single monetary policy decision. Gold and silver, for the first time in decades, are forgetting about the Fed. And let me remind you that the Fed has only had this amount of impact on the precious metals markets for like the last 50 years. Okay, so it's not like the Fed has permanently been able to uh, impact the silver and gold market. Just like the Fed became powerful temporarily, like when Nixon temporarily took the United States off the gold standard, right? The Fed can once again become pretty much powerless against gold and silver. And we're seeing that right now in our world unfold right below our very eyes. We can already see the impact of the Fed shift in monetary policy in the global marketplace. According to the World Gold Council, North American investors, this is key, this is big, who have been sorely missed this year. They've been gone. They've not participated in buying gold and silver in this big run-up. Those North American investors led the inflow, inflows into gold-backed exchange-traded funds. Last month, $1.36 billion worth of gold flowed into North American listed funds compared to global inflows of $1.4 billion. The Western investors are back. We are also seeing Western investors move money into the silver ETFs as well. That's the missing link. That's the 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 component that was not present during this last, you know, one year, six month massive run up that we've had in the silver and gold price. When the Western investor shows up, Katie bar the door. This is typical price action uh, that we have seen in the gold market. And the World Gold Council noted that the trend is still relatively new, this trend of North Americans putting money into the precious metal ETFs. Historically, gold prices have risen 6% in the first six months of a new easing cycle. The Fed just started easing. 
even though the Fed doesn't matter as much as it does to the extent they do still matter, the fact that they're easing is very good for the precious metals. And like it says here, right, the metals have on average risen 6% in the first six months after a new easing cycle. We also know that people don't really start to move money into the metals ETFs until about 30 days after the Fed starts a new easing cycle. And we're just now starting to approach that. Do you feel the sunshine hitting you? my fellow gold and silver investors. But let's not forget the U.S. monetary policy is just one factor supporting gold. Central banks continue to be net buyers of the yellow metal, even if China has been out of the game, supposedly, for the last five months. It says at at least in official capacity. Okay, Just this week, we got news of secret gold purchases. Kitco News had the opportunity to speak with precious metals analyst Jan Neuenhaus, who speculates that Saudi Arabia has purchased 160 tons of gold secretly since 2022. And they're looking at all types of trade data and really have corroborated this fact that Saudi Arabia has been buying gold. because Saudi Arabia wants to move away from the dollar. Saudi Arabia, like the BRICS countries, is in the process of de-dollarizing because holding so many dollars makes them nervous for a number of reasons, which we have uh, exhaustively discussed in the past. It's not difficult to believe that central banks are buying gold in secret. In its latest Global Trends report, the World Gold Council noted 67% of estimated central bank purchases were unreported in the second quarter. And now Russia can now be added to the list of central banks that will be secretly buying gold as part of a new broad-based precious metals purchasing program. What about silver? According to a line item in a draft federal budget, the Russian government is considering spending $535 million over the next three years to replenish its precious metals reserves. This would include gold, silver, and platinum group metals. Ultimately, whether due to stubborn domestic inflation pressures, the waning dominance of the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency, or a combination of both, gold and silver have remained resilient against the U.S. dollar. In a world constantly teetering on the brink of of economic uncertainty, it's not surprising that investors are beginning to look for opportunities to buy gold at a discount. Wow, wow, guys. There are so many factors right now supporting, corroborating a confluence of factors that make silver and gold investments feel like a really safe insurance policy at minimum, but I would even argue uh, an opportunity to gain real value, potential real wealth. Hey, if you want to get your hands on some silver, gold, or platinum group metals, please support channel sponsor Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. They do check all the boxes in my book. You're always going to get great prices, more metal for your money. It's a company I believe in, that I trust, and I believe you can trust as well. And their selection is always second to none. Thank you, Pimbex, for sponsoring Ron's Basement and First Mining Gold, Canadian gold developer with two multi-million ounce projects, gold in the ground in Canada. And Fortuna Mining, they're an active gold and silver mining company with operations in Latin America and gold mining operations in West Africa. You can learn about all the sponsors at their respective websites, to which I will have a link in the description of this video. Most important, thank you for being here. Thanks for being part of the basement. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing the video. Let's get the word out to more and more people. Doesn't it feel like we are in a new dawn, a new era for precious metals? It is going to be an incredible ride through the rest of this year, through the rest of this decade. We're almost at 2025. Hard to believe. Where do you think the silver price and the gold price are going to be in 2030? What we really want to worry about is what value those ounces of precious metals that we own, what value will they have at that point? 
If history is any indication as to what we could expect, I think we can expect that our value will at minimum be maintained and even possibly increased, that we'll be happy, we'll be smiling, we'll be together here in the basement talking about our, soul, our gold and silver. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.